You know, um, you were given the, the opportunity to meet with him and um, be invited in such a humble man's house. You know, um, out of that meeting, it was a two hour long meeting. And it was not a formal meeting, it was just get to, get, get to know each other kind of meeting. And one of the things he spoke about, he spoke about humanity amongst us as black people, especially in township areas. The real successful guys that make it in township areas and become real businessmen, real entrepreneurs, are the ones that understand the value of umundu. And they, 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 no matter how successful you can be as a person, for as long as you understand the skin color and you respect it, Tina is black people, and I'm, I'm not even going to be ashamed to even say this or sugarcoat it. As black people, we are too quick to judge each other, and we are too quick to not even help each other. Whereas in business, in the communities we live in, corporates, whichever place it may be, but the white ones, the Jews, the Caucasians, the Indians, they support each other, and they always climb the step ladder to success together. One of the reasons behind Siabangena is to work as a unit, build more black leaders. And this is what attracted him to us. He was supposed to be here too, I'm not sure if he's coming or if he's not. But um, we're telling you, Witi, you'll be able to interact with this man in the future. Because he did say he wants to become a big part of this. Those were his words. Is he sure? What I took. She will tell you what she took from that meeting. What I took from that meeting is what we must respect each other as black people. Build each other, understand the importance of the skin color. And no matter how successful you can be as a person, whether it's value of money, value of humanity, whatever it may be, understand the next person that's coming before you and after you. You know what I normally say? Respect will take you far where even the greatest education can get you. Respect. What I took out from meeting um, this lovely man is that we had this long meeting and he gave us so much attention and time and he wanted to hear us. Exactly what Max was speaking about. I see you. I hear you. I understand you. He said that we, when we started telling him about this idea, he said, do you think you'll be successful? And I said, yes. He said, I don't think so. I was like, oh, what did I say wrong? I looked at Spoon like, Spoon, save me. <laughs> and he said, I don't think you'll be successful. And I kept quiet because I knew something else was coming. He said, unless you know who you are, unless you understand the people that you are talking to, you will not be successful. Understand that when you go up there, when you put this together, you're also speaking to yourself. You're speaking to your brother and your sister. People are not numbers. Do not think of people as numbers. And I think that's why maybe some of you are here today because from that invitation you may have got, you've really felt that actually this really will benefit me. It's actually not about them. This is a genuine um, meeting where we are all to benefit. And also another thing, he said something that I'll never ever forget because of, sometimes I complain that I'm, I'm working late and ah, I'm so tired, I want to go to bed, I'm so tired. When we were done with the meeting, it was late and I said, thank you so much Baba Mabonya, I think you should go rest now. And he said, he shook my hand and he kissed, and he kissed either side of my cheeks and said, my girl, Rest is for the lazy. I'm 95 years old and I refuse to retire. I'll sleep when I'm dead. And I took that out of it because we, we like to complain and say, ah, I'm working so hard and all of this. And there are 95 year olds out there who refuse to retire because they feel they are not done living their purpose. And I want you also to take something out of that. Thank you.